So here's a cartoon that illustrates the anatomy of the influenza virus. It's a membrane enclosed virus that has a core that has both RNA and proteins. But there are two proteins that sit on the membrane envelope of the virus. And those proteins go by the name hemagglutinin, which I abbreviate H, and neuraminidase, which I abbreviate N. And remember, the swine flu is more scientifically termed H1N1. Well, the H1 is a certain form of hemagglutinin, and the N1 is a certain form of neuraminidase. Now, we know quite a bit about what these two proteins do. In fact, we even know their molecular structures in very great detail. Hemagglutinin is a receptor. It's a protein that binds to a sugar, and that sugar happens to be sialic acid, which I mentioned before. Neuraminidase is an enzyme. And what neuraminidase does is it catalyzes the cleavage of sialic acid off of the host cell. So this protein attaches to sialic acid, and this protein cuts the sialic acid off and throws it away. Now, when that discovery was made, it struck many scientists as a paradox. Why would the virus have a protein that attaches to sialic acid, and yet another protein that just cuts off that sialic acid and tosses it away? Well, I'll show you what those two proteins do. It turns out that hemagglutinin is important in the very first stage of infection, where the virus lands on a cell, it's a human host cell, the hemagglutinin attaches to the sialic acid and basically allows the protein, or, or I should say the virus particle, to dock on the cell surface. Once that occurs, it triggers an endocytosis event, where the host cell inadvertently engulfs the viral particle into a vesicle. The membrane of the virus fuses with the membrane of the vesicle and releases the nucleic acid into the cell. And now that viral nucleic acid takes over the machinery of the cell and forces the cell to generate more viral particles. Those viral particles assemble around the membrane of the host cell and eventually a new viral particle buds off the cell surface as I showed in that previous electron micrograph. But remember that with all that hemagglutinin around, that viral particle might get stuck on the cell surface where the sialic acids are. And so the job of neuraminidase is to cut those sialic acids off at that point so that the virus can release itself from the cell and go find another host cell to infect and complete the cycle. So that's why we need these two proteins that act on sialic acid.